Hi, welcome to Siemens NX12 video tutorial. Please note that it's not just a Siemens NX video tutorial, it's more like an introduction how to model that plane or how to model a plane at all. So I wanted to create a model which resembles one of the famous battle fighter planes of World War II, the Messerschmitt 109, the ME 109. I think my model looks quite nice and maybe one could guess it should look a little bit like a ME 109. <laughs> but to make it more similar would take a whole lot more time. So how to proceed if you want to get a model like this? You need some sort of pictures. I used one picture, one image. Let's show that image. Should be up here, this one. Let's go for the front view, that's from this one, so this should be the the right views, I suppose, yes, okay. There's a side view of that plane, please note there are different versions of that plane on that image. You can download that image from my GrabKit account or from the blueprints.com. So you need to draw those profiles of those sections and then arrange them side by side along that direction. So we've got a section A, B up to L or M. And if you draw more section profiles you will get closer to the original drawing. I didn't use all those sections because that would take a whole lot of time. And I also use a whole lot of planes. Let's show those planes. So you got some sort of impression. There you go. For every section I created a plane. I went for sketches because sketches, sketches are easier to handle than 3D splines. Maybe switch the model to a different view, go for a wireframe and hide those planes but show the sketches. So I used one, two, three, four, five, six, seven sketches for the main body here. And I went only for one half of that plane, so I modeled only that side of the plane and then it, in the end I mirrored it. For the wings I used two profiles, one here, one there. Same for that rudder here, one, two. Let's take a look here, here the are those profiles for those wings and here are the profiles for the sections. Let's undo this. I didn't use that sketch and this one but you can use as many information you can get from those pictures. So one last tip, those wing tips would not work. I did them only for the looks. If this should be working wing tips, you have to create it in a different way. Maybe I will do it for the video. So I hope this gives you an impression how to 
work if you want to model a plane. Those videos will be very lengthy ones, so we'll split them up into maybe six parts, seven parts. I will do that plane in every program if possible. And I will proceed in the following manner. I will do the first part for all programs, then the second part for all programs and so on. So please be patient because this will take me a whole lot of time even to remodel that one for the video. Because if you take a look at my navigator, there are a whole lot of features there. I arranged them in feature groups. So you see, this will take some time. So I hope this was helpful. Hope you liked it. If you did like it, please give it a like or leave a comment. If you want to see more, please give it a like or leave a comment. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please subscribe to my Facebook cat fan page. It would be very nice of you. I want to get more likes and subscriptions over there as well. Thanks for watching. See you to the next one. Bye-bye.